Hi, I'm Rosalyn Reyes with War Truck Magazine, and we're here with Tucker Perkins, President and CEO of the Propane Education Research Council. He's about to give us a little overview on propane autogas and a quick demo, so I'm going to hand it over to him. Great, thank you very much. It's always a great to be able to talk to the audience here at Work Truck and also the people that wish they were here. This is really our favorite show of the year because the propane industry stays focused on people that really care about payload and range. People that drive their trucks, they need to have uptime. And while we have always built our reputation around cost per mile and seeing that our fleets get a savings, today we really can show off great innovation, great environmental benefits, and it all comes together here at Work Truck Show. What's behind me is one of our latest innovations that we brought out to be a good feature of the VW settlement money is a Ford Roush propane 6.8 liter engine with a low knock certification. The vehicle behind me is certified to a .05 standard for NOx, and what we know in real life when it runs, it's operating nearly at half of that. So it's a great truck if you really want to talk about NOx emissions, which is what we'll talk about with the VW. But our booth is full of new innovations. To my right is the, is the GM product, brand new this year with the GM cutaway and the 6 liter. You'll see over to my right the new Ford F-150 product, which is both port injected and direct injected and is a great use of propane in that vehicle. Our favorite customer is the one that comes in and talks about how they switched to propane years ago, and that's just been a great change for them, seeing 30 to 50 percent savings in their fleet cost, but really changing their image. The other exciting customer that comes in our booth are those that are learning about propane and asking the questions about why should I consider propane over natural gas, or why would I change from diesel or gasoline? And it gives us just a great chance to talk to them about why they should consider propane. One of the things I always say is if you're a fleet running four or five vehicles, you're operating in a range of two to 250 miles every day, and payload and range matter, you're the perfect candidate for propane autogas, and those are the people we're talking to. So I'm standing by a propane dispenser, and many of the people that come into the booth say, I had an experience with natural gas, or I'm concerned about my refueling. So we love to talk about the specifics of a propane dispenser. Generally, fleets get this dispenser from their fuel provider for no additional charge. But even as we've talked about all the new technology around me, I always want to call attention to the new technology in these dispensers. First, propane doesn't pollute the ground or water, so it's easily sighted. But this experience is just like that of people that are used to fueling with gasoline or diesel, fueling at about the same rates. And this transfer process is almost emission-free, so it's a great, safe, and good user experience. One of the key reasons people think about using propane autogas.